All right. This is going to be uh, uninstalling Microsoft Silverlight or Silverlight on a Mac. All right. The reasons why we will want to uninstall Silverlight on a Mac, okay, is going to be the reason unable to download the editor or other Synergy applications. There will be a white screen when opening the editor. Or there will be errors. It could be a multiple errors, but you'll get error messages when opening the editor or adding clips or trying to trim. Any kind of error there is. Uh, usually the first step is to uninstall and reinstall Silverlight. And that's what we are going to go through today. Okay? There's three kind of files really important files that we want to remove. Okay? There's the silverlight.plugin, silverlight.dmg, and Microsoft Silverlight. So let's get started. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to search for Microsoft Silverlight on the Mac. To do that, we go to the top right of our screen, that little spotlight or searchlight, click on it, and we're going to type in Silverlight. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on right below Silverlight is Show All in Finder. Okay? So show All in Finder. We click on that. And it's very important if we look right above where those files are, right where my arrow is, it says Search This Mac. Okay? We want to make sure we search this Mac not all my files. So search this Mac. Okay. Once we click on that, there's some files that come up here that we want to get rid of. Okay. The first thing, the Silverlight plugin. So let's go ahead and move that to the trash. And you can either click on it, drag it to the trash, or you can right click and move to trash. Probably sometimes it's usually easier to drag. Now with Macs, they'll probably need uh, their password and their user information. Okay. Once we have that, we can also want to get rid of the silverlight.dmg. Okay, the silverlight.dmg. Okay, and the final thing we want to get rid of is we want to go to the applications folder. Okay, we want to go to the applications folder, and we want to get rid of Microsoft Silverlight. Okay, again, same thing. Move that to the trash. All right. Now, once we have moved it from the trash, we want to empty the trash. So let's go ahead and open up the trash and empty. Now, empty the trash. It's very important that for sometimes uh, some Silverlight things might be open and it might not let you empty all the trash. We want to make sure that everything is emptied. So again, we open up the trash just to confirm to make sure everything is out of there. Everything is out of there. If there is still something inside, if there is still something inside the trash, even after you empty it, try to empty again. If it still won't let you empty, try to restart and then try to empty the trash again. So restart the computer and then empty the trash again. Okay? All right. Then once we're done, we exit out of that. Now, these next steps are very, very, very important. And they sound, they sound crazy, they sound stupid, they sound insane. But it's very important that we follow these steps. So the first thing is we want to open up uh, Safari or whichever uh, browser is open. Okay? So we want to open up Safari. Next, we want to quit Safari, not force quit but quit. To do that, we go up to the top left, okay, it's a little icon that says Safari, and then we scroll down to quit Safari. Okay, we click on it. Okay, now we reopen Safari. So again, we come down, reopen Safari, And this is kind of the stupid part or insane part, but we just X out or close out the little red, the little red circle up there. We're just going to X out of it or close it normally. Okay. And now we reopen. We reopen Safari. Okay. Um, and the problem is if you don't do it those steps, 
what's going to happen is you won't be able to reinstall. It still will think uh, Silverlight is installed. So very, very, very important that we follow each of those steps. Okay, now to install Silverlight, we can just Google get Silverlight. Or we can type in the URL www.microsoft.com slash get Silverlight. Okay, and you'll see that right down there. All right, so let's go ahead and click on the Get Silverlight. And then <laughs> what we'll see if it was uninstalled correctly, we'll see a purple button that says click to install. That's the important button. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Okay. And then what we're going to do is once it's done installing, we're going to look for the thing that's done. It's going to be silverlight.dmg. And again, that's why we want to remove those previous DMGs so we don't get confused. Okay. Um, so again, once it's done, we're going to click on the Silverlight DMG. Sometimes it gets hidden behind. Okay. And as you can see, sometimes the application doesn't get found. We just click on that little arrow up there, find it again, click on it. Okay, then click on the silverlight.pkg or double click on it. And we'll go through the install process. So we will continue. And install. And again, they're probably going to need their uh, user information. And once this is done, we're not done yet because we have to go through that stupid, stupid, crazy process again. So we want to go up to Safari tab up on the top left again. Quit Safari. And then reopen Safari. And now, again, we want to close Safari, X out of it, the little red dot. Now we want to reopen Safari. And just to confirm that Safari is installed, if we Google Get Silverlight again, And you'll see the version of Silverlight is installed. You are ready to use Microsoft Silverlight. So we're good to go. And that is basically how we uninstall and reinstall Silverlight on a Mac. Thank you for joining us today.